Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from Bayes theorem. In the question they have given bag 1 contains 3 red and 4 black balls. So let's write B1 here. It has 3 red and 4 black balls. While another bag 2 contains 5 red and 6 black balls. So we take B2 which is having 5 red and 6 black. One ball is drawn at random from one of the bags and it is found to be red. So we already know the drawn ball is red. So we have to write P of by R. Whatever we already know, that will come in the denominator part. So they say it is found to be red. So we know it is red. And what they are asking will come in the numerator part. That is, find the probability that it was drawn from bag 2. So they are asking for the probability that it was from the bag 2. So we have to write bag 2 here. Now we have to write the formula for this expression and as per the formula first this numerator part alone will come p of b2 into its reciprocal p of r by b2 now whole divided by we have to write the total probability the same way we have to write for b1 p of b1 into p of r by b1 plus p of b2 into p of r by b2. So if we understand how to write this formula and after that everything is a direct substitution. Now coming to the values of p of b1. There are two bags. So probability of bag 1 is 1 by 2 and probability of bag 2 is also 1 by 2. And in the expression we find p of r by b1 and this value is in bag 1 getting red the probability of getting red from bag 1 so from bag 1 we see there are 3 red and 4 black so total there are 7 so in that red is 3 so the probability of getting red from the bag 1 is 3 by 7 in the same way p of r by b2 is from the bag 2 getting red is 5 out of the total 11. So 5 by 11. Now let's substitute. So P of B2 by R equal to. So when we substitute all these values. It is 1 by 2 into P of R by B2 is 5 by 11. Whole division 1 by 2 into 3 by 7 plus 1 by 2 into 5 by 11. So from the denominator we can take 1 by 2 common. So it is easier for our calculation. So after taking 1 by 2 common we left with 3 by 7 plus 5 by 11. Now we can cancel this 1 by 2. Now we are going to take LCM in the denominator part. The LCM is 77. So here it is 3 into 11. 33 and this is 5 into 7 35. So totally this is 5 by 11 by 68 by 77. Now this we can take as a reciprocal and multiply it will be 77 by 68. You can cancel this 7 times. So finally it is 35 by 68. 